friends and welcome back to Handmade Not Hallmark. We are on card number two for my Christmas card series for this year and this card is a recreation of a card I created several years ago using some amazing products from Lawn Fawn. I love this design. It's so versatile and I really wanted to share it again and I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. The first thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to get my snowy background done first because I'm going to be using some grit paste or texture paste and I wanted to give it a good opportunity to dry all the way before I started assembling my card. So I just have a piece of Nina Desert Storm cardstock here. This is their 100 pound cardstock and I'm going to be taping it down to this slimline snowfall stencil from Simon Says Stamp and I'm going to be using this opaque texture paste from Tim Holtz. And I'm just kind of spread it across my panel here. I have it cut down to a slimline panel, which is eight and a half by three and a half, so I can create a slimline card. The first time I created this card was back in 2016. This was one of my first kind of like intricate scene cards I ever created. I never shared it on my YouTube because I didn't have my YouTube at that time, but I think I shared it on my Instagram. And I really loved it, but I had created it into a regular um, A2 sized card. Um, a uh, portrait card. So I thought I would love to share this design again. I got the design from Nicole's four years ago and um, so I want to give her credit for the design idea but I really loved it so much that I really wanted to try it again. I pre-stamped my images on some Nina Desert Storm cardstock with some Versa Fine Onyx Black ink and I'm going to color them in with my colored pencils. You can use any colored pencils that you like or any that you have on hand. I'm going to put on some music for you to enjoy and when we're all finished we'll come back and put this card together. It's a cold night, baby, and I'm on my way to you And the snow keeps falling down Lit a fire and look down on the avenue I just love the way you carry the crown It's just me and you tonight and I'm all yours We'll be in our happy place This December will be the best, I'm pretty sure And I am truly yours in every way So hold me now, it's Christmas time Bring joy to people in this town In this way we make the world go round In December I just let the peace take over That is what I want
was a long time coming I'm so glad we made it here You and me So here's to another year Another chance to do better So let's finished these accordion dies to cut out all of these cute little critters i love the way that they look on top of this craft it looks kind of vintage um, coloring on craft with my colored pencils is probably one of my favorite techniques for the holiday season i just think it looks really vintage and um, kind of classy next i'm going in with a white gel pen and i'm just going to go and add some highlight details now you have to be kind of careful because with the colored pencils they leave somewhat of a film over top of your images just because they're the way that they're made they're wax colored pencils um, but I just make it work and it does turn out okay just take your time with it and don't press really hard with the gel pen really make sure that it's flowing nice and it's not clogged and you shouldn't have any issues again I don't have any kind of rhyme or reason to where I place these little highlights it's just going off of what I personally think looks nice if you don't like the highlights leave them out they look fine just without them once I go through and add those highlights, I'm also going to go in with a, um, a thinner jelly roll pen. So that was a number 10 and I'm going to go in with a thinner one after I go in with the Secura black jelly roll pen. So this one is like a glaze pen. I think it's a nice way to add um, in the eyes and the noses on these characters. I really think it brightens them up and makes them look um, a little bit um, more kind of lively. 
And then I'm going to go in with that thinner gel pen. I believe this is a number five. You can get a three pack with a number five, a number eight, and a number 10. And I really like these a lot for adding details. I love that they're different sizes because you can, you know, do different details, those sorts of things. So you can see here, I'm just adding a little bit of detail to these presents and it just make sure your jelly roll pen is, you know, really rolling well and it's not clogged and it should flow out just fine. Adding some stripes and some dots to the gifts. I love the way that these look. Once I have all of those done, I'm going to work on um, the little trees. So these trees stamp solidly. So I wanted to stamp them with some nice green colors. I went in with uh, Rustic Wilderness and I'm going to stamp down some trees. So the larger tree comes from the Toboggan Together set that I'm using that has the deer and the penguin in it. The smaller tree comes from the Home from the Holidays stamp set. It's a mini set that has a little car and some gifts and things like that. And um, I love the little tree. I wanted to have two different sizes and I thought these were great because they were the exact same tree just scaled differently. So I'm stamping it down on that craft card stock again just to tie everything together and I love the look of Distress Oxides on craft. I think they look super neat and again I love the, just the toned down kind of look to craft and using colored pencils. Now you can color on craft with Copics as well. I've done that in the past and it makes a really kind of muted look as well which I think is really cool. So here you can see I've got my panel that I did my snowflakes on and it's all nice and dry and I just have some hillsides here cut. I just use some stitched hillsides from my stash. If you don't have stitched you can use any hillside dies. If you don't have any hillside dies you can just freehand cut this as well. And I'm just kind of layering this up. So what I'm going for is kind of like a muted background look. I want it to look like some of the trees and the hills are off in the distance. And again, I recreated this card several years ago. I think back in 2016, I watched Nicole Sfor create a card similar to this, and I just loved it so much that I had to recreate it. I'm just going in and layering in my trees wherever I feel like they look nicest. And I'm just using that Barely Art liquid adhesive. And I keep bringing in the bottom panels just to kind of line things up and kind of figure out where I want to place things and you know where I want trees and when I need to add in my kind of my vellum which is going to be my muting element so that's what I'm going to use to kind of mute the background it's going to look kind of like it's in the background it's really snowy outside and it kind of looks kind of fuzzy and distant in the background so a really cool effect I think you could do this for any card and I loved it love 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 it and I just had to recreate this card on video because I recreated it when I started making cards back in 2016 and my family just loved it. They thought it was really cool and um, I just had to share it with you all. So here's that piece of vellum. This is just some heavy vellum. I'm not 100% sure if it's from Simon or from Lawn Fawn, but any kind of nice heavy vellum will work perfectly for this technique. So I just have it um, cut exactly the same as my panel which is eight and a half by 11 and I'm gonna do my greeting on top of this. So this is another fun way to add a greeting if you you know you don't really have anywhere else to put it those sorts of things and I'm going to be using the Merry Christmas from the Toboggan Together set and I'm just going to stamp it in that space right in the middle there it's a nice area to put that greeting it's not going to cover up of any images and it's just going to look really um, nice up there kind of tucked up in there the first time I did this I did it in gold which I kind of wish I would have done it in gold this time but I wanted to kind of switch things up and see how I liked it I personally I like the gold better on my first card um, not that the white's not any you know not good at all but I think the gold kind of adds a little bit of shine to it so I'm gonna stamp that down with some Versamark ink and I'm just gonna use some Brutus Monroe alabaster white embossing powder and I made sure my heat gun was really nice and warm because you when you're heat embossing on vellum it can scorch really really quickly so whenever your heat guns already warmed up it doesn't take as long for the embossing powder to melt and it's less chance for your vellum to to burn. So I'm going to heat that from the back side first and then I can go in from the front and heat it as well. That way I don't blow away any of that embossing powder. I'm going to get that lined back up just to make sure it looks right. I was going to stamp some more um, snowflakes from the set but I decided I was just going to use my clay embellishments instead and they worked out just fine as well. So 
The best way to adhere this down is you don't really have to adhere a whole lot because you want it to kind of look muted and fuzzy in the background. So since I'm going to put a, another hillside on top of this vellum, you can just adhere right along the bottom with liquid glue or tape runner or anything like that. Adhere it to the bottom because nobody's going to see that at the bottom once it's covered up with your hillside. And then once you start adding your other elements on, it's going to kind of hide all of that adhesive. So now you could, if you wanted to, to keep that laying flat, you could add some adhesive, you know, behind where like the snowflakes are. But um, I like the idea that it's kind of floating off the front of the card. It kind of makes a cool effect. So here you can see I was just going to adhere a little spot down there. I did end up adding a tree over that. You don't really see the adhesive that much um, on this card because it's right over top of the white. So it kind of disguises it as well. But um, again, any way that you want to layer this up, I just personally think it looks neat with it kind of free, kind of free flowing at the top there. Get my last border adhered down, and I'm not really adding a whole lot of dimension to this card. I'm keeping it somewhat flat. So this card is actually really fun because there's a lot of like depth and dimension in the card design, not actually in the elements of the card. So everything is adhered flat, but the illusion that there is tons of depth is there with the vellum and the distance, those sorts of things, which I think is a really, really neat effect. I'm going to add in the last few trees here, and I love this little winter scene, and I'm going to get my sleigh adhered with my deer. I love this older set from Lawn Fawn. Um, it came out ages ago, but it is still a goodie set because it's got so many different elements that you can piece together with other sets from Lawn Fawn. They all go together so well. So this set and Cherry Christmas go together phenomenally. I love them together as a set. All of the little critters go together and the trees and the gifts, everything just matches perfectly. I'm gonna get that one attached to the little sleigh here and just use my reverse tweezers to hold him in place until I get everything else assembled. Now again, I tried to keep this card as close as my original card design as I could, um, minus the fact that I, you know, I made it into a slim line and I added some actual gifts. I don't think I put gifts in my original card design. Um, and I was going to add penguins, but I thought, you know, I colored the penguins on, you know, you watched me color those, but I didn't use them. So I'm going to save them for another card. But um, you could easily do this same design and do a bunch of those characters and just make a bunch of little mini scenes. So you could use the penguins in a scene like this, or you could take some other images from Lawn Fawn. Um, they've got some, they're like the really great mice sets they have would look cute with this design. So creating a whole bunch of these kind of panels with the, the distance and the vellum, and then just swapping out your characters on the front. You can make a ton of cards like this, I think would be really cool as well gonna get them adhered down getting the little sleigh adhered to the the front deer here is kind of a, a tricky task but once you get everything adhered down it is so sweet and I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit of glue behind the little pull here so it looks like he's pulling the sleigh I think it'd be cute if he had like a little harness like if you could if this set came with like a little harness so that it looked like he's actually pulling it. I think it's so, so cute. Gonna adhere my gifts down. And these, so the large set came from the, the toboggan together, and then the smaller one came from that other set I used earlier with the smaller tree. So again, you can see how perfectly these sets go together because everything matches. I think it's so cute. Here's where I thought about kind of adhering down the vellum background using some of the snowdrops in the back. But it ended up popping off anyway, so I just left it and I just went through and added some of these snowflakes from Tailored Expressions. Again, as you guys know, these are my favorite snowflake bits and I do have more on order because <laughs> I'm getting down to the slim pickings. I really like the these snowflakes, but I also like the ones that are just the small snowflakes. I don't use the big ones as often, but I do use them, but the smaller ones are my favorite. And when I tell you I was struggling with my embellishment wand here, I am I got a new tip on it thinking maybe that would help. And um, it just doesn't like these snowflakes. I think it's just, it doesn't have, 
I think it's because they're not really like coated with plastic. They're more of like, I don't really know how to explain them. So I tried using a different tool and that one didn't work. So I was getting really frustrated. So I just ended up using my tweezers and my fingers to get these snowflakes adhered. In the end, I got it to work. I got them adhered down and I was happy with my end result. But if anybody has any idea why these jewel pickers won't work on these snowflakes, be interesting to figure out why. So last couple of things that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Nouveau shimmer pen and add some more shimmer to these critters because you can never have too much sparkle and shine on cute Christmas cards. Um, Christmas card kind of lets you get away with adding shimmer in like the weirdest places and I just love adding them to Christmas cards. I really think it's a fun detail to add and again it's sparkle. How can you go wrong with sparkle? So once I have that all finished I'm going to adhere this to a, um, a slimline card base that I have pre-cut and it is just some uh, Lawn Fawn, or not Lawn Fawn, excuse me, Simon Says Stamp um, 110 pound cardstock going to adhere that down with my Barely Art Adhesive and I'm going to leave the inside of the card blank um, just so there's tons of room to add a wonderful greeting in there. I hope you enjoyed this card. If you did, please consider hitting the like button as well as the subscribe. It lets YouTube know you're enjoying all the content that I'm bringing to you. Again, I hope you enjoyed this recreation of a card that I created back in the day and I hope you're enjoying this series as well. I can't wait to share with you the next cards I've got coming up and I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you again soon. Bye. On screen, I've got a few videos that I think you'll enjoy. Consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more videos at my YouTube channel.